Prince. These are DGTs. <laughs> These are DGTs. You know what? There's a lot of cool artist guitars out there, but this one I think is my favorite. You know, I, oh, yeah. I've really fallen in love with Santana's all over again because the neck feels good on it. But this thing has a lot of like. Anyway, by the way, I'm Brett and this is Ed. Hello. Pardon me for not introducing my friend to you. We are with moreguitars.com. So back to what we were talking about, more fun. <clears throat> DGTs, David Grissom Tremolo, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love this. So anyway, there's a lot going on with this guitar that makes it different from a, another 22 fret guitar. Yeah, yeah. You kick it off. Well, I mean, he's got his <clears throat> signature neck carve. Yep. All right, and then, which is very, very, very comfortable. Yep. Um, his own signature pickups. Yes with an independent volume for each one because he likes to play around with, with volume. Yeah, 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 and yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. just tasty, you know, it's like, it makes you want to play those really tasty. You know, for those that, who that play wasn't well, tasty. for those who can play well, you know, it would sound really, really great. Try that again, I know you can do better. <laughs> So when you go here, <laughs> that's better, buddy. That's, the first one sounded like me. But, the, you know, if you've ever seen David play, like at the PRS Experience or at any of his shows or whatever, that's the sound. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That vintage good, meaty, just good tone. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's, and it's something that you can tell that when he plays, when he's on stage with Paul, that Paul just looks at the amp and goes... That sounds badass. You know, he's like, this guy, he, you know, he's thinking. You know, the cool, and, and what I love is that, you know, like there's some unconventional things about the, the, the layout of the knobs is, you know, geographically you would think this one would control the, the neck pickup, pickup and this one would control, but it's opposite because David plays with this knob a lot more when he's playing live, you yeah. know. So, and then this one, I mean, but they're all easy to access. Sure. You know, I think... One thing that I was talking to somebody about at the factory, and it may have been Paul or it may have been Paul Miles, I don't know, but the reason like this thing is in line with the back of the tremolo, mm -hmm. like that knob, uh -huh. is so like, yeah, this one's easy to get to. Yeah. But if you need to get to that one, you just run your hand down the back of the trim. That's a great idea. And you got it. So I think that's, there's a yeah. science. big part of that. Science. I see your science. <laughs> But it is a tremolo. There's some cool things about it. Obviously, these set it apart, tuner, tuning buttons. Um, it is a faux bone nut, so it's not the standard nut that goes on all the other PRSs. This is a choice by David that he, I think I've heard that he insists upon it. He just likes it. And, and maybe he hasn't tried the PRS nut, but uh, that's what it is. Hmm. So, But how would you compare... Because when I pick this up, I compare these pickups, like in my mind, I feel like they're probably the closest pickup to a 5815 LT without, I can't say they're yeah. exactly the same, yeah. but they're, they're closer than I think a lot of other pickups. Would you kind of feel that way? Yeah. What's different about it? I was, it's, it's mm. more vintage voice, like, you know, so uh, 5708 is what came to mind, but, yeah. you know, I've got a guitar with, with, with one of those and, and um, yeah, it's just going for that, that warm, you know, with lower output and it's not quite as bright, you know, so it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah like choice. It. Oh, and the coil tapping feature is also dynamite. Dynamite? Yeah. Play, play us something on that coil tapping feature. <laughs> Notice when I pulled the knob and pushed it in, almost no, and I would almost, I would, I would, I would just say there's no volume drop. No, no. The, to the single coil. I agree. Yeah. And that's part of this new, you know, this, oh, this, always getting better. You know, whenever Paul fixes up the 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 whatever wiring or or whatever on one set of pickups, 
he's like, okay, we got to do this to all of them. And that's, I think that's what he's done here is kind of said, okay, we can do this on every pickup without altering the tone. Mm -hmm. And now we've got, you know, a volume that doesn't drop. Go ahead and just turn the guitar on, turn it up and listen. I want to hear if there's a noise. So there's that. So there is still a little bit of that very negligible. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I don't want to say negligible. You can hear it. Only when you're not playing. You're supposed to be playing the <laughs> guitar, man. Jesus. That's like, if you, if you can't figure that out, do this. And if the sound is gone, right? Like my amplifier does this. Does it do you hear it when you're playing? No. You know what? You're oh, okay. supposed to be playing in front of people. <laughs> And there's supposed to be noise in the bar, like uh, like bottles smashing and things of that nature. And uh, it's at least the bars I go to. <laughs> but you know, one one thing about these two particular guitars is is they are not the beautiful quilt or flame maple tops and and the, you know the crazy colors. It's a gold top and a white guitar. And this is a no-brainer. A lot of people love the gold top. And, you know, the, that's somewhat of a vintage thing, even though it's a double cut. But this, I normally wouldn't order. We don't order a whole lot of solid colors in core model guitars. And I, sure. I think they're amazing. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but this one, whenever it came up on the list, it was like, damn, <laughs> white with, you know, it's got the, you know, the natural binding, which sets it off. That's and sharp. You know, and I, some people will whine about that and say they don't like it. They'd rather have a wrap. I'm like, man, that's like the framework of this beautiful piece of art. When yeah. it's sitting on your stand, it's like that thing ha deserves a frame. You know what I mean? The moon inlays are really nice to touch with that particular guitar, Yes, too. it is, yes. Yeah. How about yours? What is your fab? Oh, I've got the... Uh, birds. Yeah, it looks oh. like a white mother of pearl outline with uh, some uh, probably abalone inlay. Baloney. Yeah. I'm yeah. hungry, man. It's sharp. Thanks for that. <laughs> so the, it is a the DGT neck carve, which is different. It's got a vintage feel to it, I would say. You know, um, the uh, uh, rosewood fretboard, maple back, maple neck, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then it is a maple top, even though it's, it's painted or whatever. It's not translucent. Am I correct in all of those things? So it does come with a whammy bar for all you people that are going to ask on YouTube. It does come with one. We just didn't get them out of the box. Because a lot of times, depending on the mood we're in, we don't like to unseal that little Ziploc bag that has the trim arm in it. Sometimes we're okay. And I don't know. It just depends on if I've eaten or not, <laughs> if, I, if I'm okay with it. But, uh, but anyway, so these are DGTs. Let's run through a couple different tones, Ed. Maybe, yes. And uh, let's maybe do... Humbucking on both pickups, maybe clean and dirty. Let's really run it through its paces. So that's that's the humbucker in the, in the bridge pickup. Both pickups. And now neck, right? Neck. Very mellow. Let's do it with the tap that. Mother. Both pickups. A lot of people say that uh, a, a bridge single coil is an unusable tone. That's usable. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let's do heavier tones. That was both pickups. Now here is the uh, uh, neck pickup. Little up here. Let's tap that. 
Tap it. See what that sounds like. <laughs> Yes, one more. All right, so we haven't we haven't messed with channel three. These are TC fifties, so this is going to be high gain. Let's just hear it. If it sounds bad, we'll have Larry edit it out. So that's that's with that we didn't tinker with that uh, before the before this and that sounds amazing. Almost had an expletive there. So, but that's killer. I mean, that if you think you can't record with this guitar, you're berserk. I mean, this thing is amazing. So, cool. So I'm gonna tell you, we are moreguitars.com. We just found out that we uh, we are once again a top ten dealer for what we were in 2018, assuming we will be in 2019. But we moved up, I think. And that's because we keep treating people right. We want to treat you right. And we want you to watch these YouTube videos. Please subscribe. Please understand that we are the good guys and we're here to help you. We're not just here to sell guitars and amps to you. We're good people. Rob is an awesome dude. I think anybody that's done business with us will say that about everyone. We would love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, all those things, moreguitars.com. You can call, chat, email, all that. We're here to help. Thank you, Ed, for being a badass. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will you. see you tomorrow. Love you, everybody. <laughs>